Welcome to the swing trade watch list for January the 3rd and we pick up day trading ideas from the stocks that are breaking out in the swing trade list. I primarily trade a very small list of stocks uh, just for their intraday action up and down and then from this list right here I add two or three along the way uh, each day that I may watch for two or three days and still try to keep myself in a very small list. You just pick what you want to trade and watch if you're day trading and just put, trade the cycle of what you're trading. Learn the personalities of your stocks. And that's something I got away from a lot last year. A lot of people came in the room in the spring that were all interested in trading, fading the move, for, uh, to paraphrase, you know, they big stock gapped up, let's short it, it gapped down, let's go long. Let's go against the trend. That's not what I've always done. And I just found myself trying to please the crowd and looking for other things that really weren't what I do. I trade price action and breakouts, and I've made a commitment to myself. That's all I'm trading this year. I've focused in on a group of stocks. I've been focused real hard on them for about a month now since the 1st of December and I'm not varying from my list of stocks. Uh, just one or two little instances here and there of something that's real interesting. Uh, I don't care about the stocks that are running seven, eight dollars in a day unless they're on my list that I'm already watching. If you're looking for $10 stocks, $20 stocks, $6 stocks, that ain't what I do. I may run across one occasionally on the scans that I run for the swing trades because I do scan back all the way to $3 stocks. The uh, ones that are gapping up from $3 to $10 and things like that, you won't see them on my list. There's plenty of folks out there show that to you. That's what you'll find watching our swing trader list. If you come to our chat room, you're only going to find a large price group of stocks that may be from $50 to $300 in price and I'm trading the momentum not the reversal. I may trade a bounce where I've had some momentum down and I'm already watching that stock and I understand what it's going to do. But if you're looking for the lower price stocks you're not going to find that at my chat room. I run the alerts on the uh, premium alert system. I don't go down into that price range stock. I watch about 400 stocks that may vary in price from $25 to $30 on up to $400 and put alerts out on those on our premium alert system and you don't come in the chat room for that you just watch the alerts and learn how to react to them and their active trade uh, alerts to get you started into a trade that may last the rest of the day for two or three dollars or it may last several days for several dollars and then what I'm looking at on our swing trade list is stocks that are actually breaking out with a momentum and I'm fixing to show you those. There's a lot today of course I'm going to go pretty fast and I want to show you a, a quick little recap and every one of these stocks I'm going to show you came up on exactly the alerts I'm about to share with you and share nightly with you on this video list. So we're going to take a real quick look at just a few stocks that came up on this exact scan that I'm fixing to show you the list of stocks from today. ALXN came up on the 15th at $115.76. This stock's now at $124.05. I believe this was the 15th right here. That's when this came in on my scan that it was going to try to break out. Now that don't mean they go straight up. That means they are trying to break out. And you can see it gapped the next day and it pulled back and it progressed along and now it's made a $10 move. Uh, oh, it's made $8. This, this little tracking thing that TC2000 throws in here is just based on 100 shares. So closing price today against the price that we put it on the list at on the 15th, $8.29, a 7% move. You're up to the 200 day, so you got to be careful here, but it's getting the momentum. Of course, a lot of things got this kind of momentum today, especially in this particular sector. APC was added on the 23rd. That would be way up here. 
and it went sideways three or four days. I showed this training line and it finally got through it today, so hopefully this is continuing on up. It's still definitely intact down here. This is the current. This is what I brought. This actually hit this alert right here. I put it on the list on the 23rd, but this is actually where it came in at. Uh, this on the 19th. This is where, this is my trigger right here. This is what I scan for. This is just true or false statements. Tells me this goes on my list. So right there is where it went on the list. So it's actually moved about $5 since then. I discussed it on the 23rd and I put it on that list to remember to talk about it. APA, I believe, was about the same thing. It was a day or two later. It actually came in right here and has gone sideways for several days and then broke out again today. AAP came up today on the list. You can see right here. This is what I scanned for. This is my true false that I, makes me look and it's coming back into this breakout period here today and it hit the alert at uh, 103.83 so it went up about six, uh, to 106 by the end of the day and then EXP also came up today as it broke out uh, hold on I'm going to give you the value it broke out at one. 1573. Oh, yeah, I got it right here. 115.73. So it's on up into here today that uh, it broke out here. Now, this is another long watch sometime I have way down here. This is a different uh, scan system. The ones I put on the swing trade list is when they break into what I call my bull zone. This is my long zone with the green dotted lines. I don't put that out on swing trade list. And this is the long zone getting stronger. And then today it broke into the bull zone. And weekly wise, you're up at the highs as well. So keep that in mind. There's so many stocks that broke out today. It's hard to know that some of them might not pull back in the next few days. A lot of positions were probably put on beginning the new year. A lot of stuff that I looked at on Friday that I put the little video out. Uh, for today over the weekend and I didn't put those out as swing trades I put them out as as end of the day with momentum and the momentum of the direction they had and they all about went the opposite of what I where the momentum was at the end of the day on Friday All right, keep in mind the kind of day we had today and what I always caution you is to be aware of recent resistance and support. This is the first stop. It actually broke out today at a level of 7209 and it ran about a dollar above that by the end of the day. And of course, it gapped up and ran up when it broke into my bull zone level. level that's where it was. And you'll see every one of these is either in the bull zone today or yesterday I look back two days when I run this scan so we can take a look at something that might have been there yesterday so in case we had a pause we can get a quick review if you subscribe to our subscription service I give you the charts at trading view you don't even have to have real-time alerts for all these uh, levels on these charts if you come into TC 2000 I'll share everything on the chart uh, on the on the green and pink lines that represent the highs and the lows I do not share my pivot system which is these lines on TC 2000 but I will give you access to them through trading view and you don't have to have a pay anything actually in today data is free and these lines will be plotted and they'll usually even be plotted back on uh, 15 minute or even hourly charts they might not be accurate on a 15 minute real time, but like this stock today when it broke through this old high on its 15 minute chart, this would have been on your chart because it goes back several days. So it would have already been plotted on that free data uh, over there at TradingView. This line would have been intact on a 15 minute chart. 
and I use these all the time. Uh, I'll give you an example in just a second when we shorted today. This was the stock was SPLK, and you know I talk all the time about these stocks going back and revisiting these lines, and this is how I use this pivot system for day trading. We took this short uh, around 65, 61 cents up in here, and I call my exit right here on this line plus about three cents. This line's 85.65. It came back to 85.60. I got out about 68, if I remember right. I had my exit, and I let all this chopping around go on, using my other charts to keep me in the trade, but that was my target. And I find that when the stock really runs up hard like this did, this will usually be where it comes back to. And you can see that's exactly what it did today. And held that level, and then went back up from there. And I actually call this long off this line on a five minute chart so right here to go long it held the line even though it pulled back a little bit the line was 65 cent here's 66 cent that was the low 68 cent was the low <laughs> and then it went on back up so it can you get the charts with the subscriptions for the premium alerts and then you can use them ever how you want to use them over on trading view if, if this comes in on your five minute chart then you can you can utilize that this is AAP we talked about this a minute ago it came up on the uh, bulls on alert at 103.83 today and closed about two dollars and twenty or thirty cent above that it also ran a little bit higher than that and again it's what we talk about just we're talking about the support and resistance lines ran into the old high if you got my charting system it's right on your chart this is our first breakout day on this and this actually on a weekly chart is getting momentum it's not in the bull zone yet it's really close it did cross that level today but it didn't close in the bull zone on the weekly but it's getting momentum on this weekly chart and this thing has been way oversold so this stock is setting up based on today's candles uh, probability of heading on up here to the weekly target one which is a ten dollar move you got this last pivot high here and you're dealing with this one here as well and that's the line you had right here today I hadn't looked at any of these, so we're just going down the list as I'm going. What, what I'm looking at my skin. It's the first time I've looked at this stock and everything from here down today. Uh, big breakout candle today on this, I mean, ABEO, healthcare, biotech, a lot of that stuff was moving. It's a little $17 stock. First signs of breaking out. It's, it's not a beautiful breakout, but it is the first day. And see what you get for follow through tomorrow. ACHC. Now this is a better looking breakout to me than the last one. And it's breaking all this base going back. Uh, it's got above this support line. You can see it held it there on Friday. A nice breakout here today. That's a dollar move on the stock. And over on your weekly chart, it's also getting through this old support line that it's been resisting here for 10 or 12 weeks. It finally opened the open today was at 32.67 that was the lower day and the value of this line is $32 and 54 cents I'm picking that up right over here it tells me these levels and these pink numbers over here and I just hold my mouse there and look for the one that's near where I got my mouse at it's $32 and 54 cents you can see there LS3 and like I say if you're on TC2000 this is something I share with you. You can go over our website at daytradersetups.com and go to TC2000. Link from there, if you sign up, you get $25 off your first month. Just go to daytradersetups.com and you can take go right in there. So if this stock can get some momentum on this weekly, uh, you got a lot of potential here. Stock's been sold off for quite a while and back on your daily chart. Uh, you got a gap down back here way let me show you a little further back 
and you are in the gap. Well, you're at the gap. The high of the gap down day was 34.24. Today's high was 34.04. So if this moves over 34.24 tomorrow and closes, you're going to be in the gap. So maybe you can get a gap fill trade going on here. And you're through the 50 day. Good breakout right there. Next stock, stock, stock is AMBA. It has gapped up before and went up and made a high and then did this sell off. It is breaking again today. Uh, caution you at all this choppy activity. Uh, it broke out at around $60.88. Into my bull zone level here, first day on the chart. A lot of times you get a little pullback on some of these, so just something to be aware of. ASML broke out today, barely sitting on the 50 day. This stock here, I'll probably put on my favorites list for tomorrow. This is generally not a good day trader. You see all these crazy looking candles back here. Uh, but if it can break into the momentum, then it can get to moving. And it may be so spready, I don't want to look at it, but I'm going to look at it one time in the morning and see. And if it's spready, I'll forget about it and I won't go back. BECN, this is uh, just coming into the old highs. This is weekly highs too. Uh, it's beacon roofing. Uh, it's not going to be a big mover. It may be a grinder. And last time it decided to grind, it made about a six or seven dollar move, seven, eight, ten percent. You never know what they do when they're breaking out. And this has uh, been coming in and out of this for three or four days. In, actually haven't been in my bull zone but it's been gaining strength and it finally did touch the bull zone here and then had to recross it again today just barely there in today you got to break this high and you can look at your own chart and figure that one out 6488 is the high of this candle my do you big day today came up into my bull zone first time at 240.47. This is the first day. If you look down and you see one of these coming up and the, and the little green lines turning over and I'm showing you a chart like you'd see back here, that'd be the second day. <clears throat> this is just breaking out. This is already on my regular trade list. It'll be on my favorites tomorrow. Come through the 50 day as well. BPL. Uh, this stock I was watching it some the other day on another scan. I think it actually touched uh, the bull zone here and then pulled back and closed just below it on Friday. Broke on out today, got through this support line, which is this low back here. That's what this pink line right here is telling you. It's telling you the exact value to the penny of this pivot low right here. That's why I have these lines on my chart. I don't got to go back and figure it out. Even if I can't see it, I don't care. I know it was important or wouldn't, the line wouldn't be here. <clears throat> so we're breaking through that. We got through target one. Uh, a little move up here, but about another $3. You may get a little pullback there. You did get through the 50 today, so that's good on that. And this, of course, is the energy sector. CLR, next one on the list. Uh, I really never trade this stock just because it don't move very much in the daytime but it is breaking out here it got through this old this is an old resistance level <coughs> this uh excuse me green line represents a place that it rejected in the past how far in the past way back there okay way back here this line $53.38 represents a high right in here. The last time it tried to go up and got to this level, it failed. And I've been through it before, but it couldn't get back through there. And you got another level here just above that that's probably even more significant that's not extended anymore because it's been so long. And that level is $55.07. It may be on the weekly chart. And I probably gonna be right here now. Sixty. Uh, let's see there. We got a little green line right there. That's sixty thirty. No, that's fifty six dollars. Yeah, 
don't even show on the weekly. It's been so long ago. That other little level. That's this $55 level back here. So you got to get through there next. $55.07. And then, of course, you see the old high back there. But it is breaking out. Uh, it's already been broke out, actually. It showed up the first time. I'm going to squeeze this back in for you. We see a little bit better. This is where it hit the level right here. First day this showed up in our bulls on alert was back on the 20th at the $49 uh, dollar level. It's when it first broke out back there. And you can see right here, that's what I've been showing you. That's what I scan for when it breaks there. I keep it on here for two days. The reason it showed back up today is it lost a little momentum the last three or four days of the month and now it's come back up into the level again. So this was the better break. This one may strengthen some more as it continues, but this was the initial break. CRZO, another gas and energy stock. Uh, again, you can see where this broke back here. It's base, 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 continued on. And this is looking pretty good on the weekly. Go back to CLR for a minute. CLR has been broke out on the weekly for quite a ways. We also run a weekly scan too on our premium alerts. And this showed up on the weekly bull zone right here. That was back October the 27th, the week of the 27th. This broke into momentum on the weekly as it continued up since then. CVX, Chevron, another energy that broke out back here and is continuing on up here. How far and how long these go, I don't know. EMN, basic materials. Uh, this is not a great trader. It is showing a breakout uh, on this level. It's got to get to these old highs. And on the weekly, it's near its highs as well. EXP, this was one I showed you earlier that I picked up on earlier in the day. It actually hit this bull zone today, uh, somewhere along in here, if I remember right. And it had already been in a pretty good little, in my long zone here for several days. And this is uh, weekly highs too, as well. FGEN, uh, healthcare stock. I've never traded this stock. Biotech, you know, it all kind of broke out today. Uh, it's been in my long zone for quite a ways, picking up some momentum. These are my little power indicators, the yellow, the blue, the purple, and the pink, these little lines in here. So it's been gaining power in this long zone. And then it finally got a bigger break today and busted through the 50 day. You got resistance right here, $51.70. It's an old high that it reversed at. You threw target one, here's target two. After this base here, this could easily head on up to my upper pivot. FLXN, been basing here for quite some time. Uh, finally broke that base today. Just starting to set up. I like the way this looks on the daily. And could easily take you on up to this old high at 29 28 a lot of guys take these and pick up on them for a little short two and three day cheap uh, option trades now I'm not a big option trader my mentality on these little short ones is to get in it's right out of the money if there happened to be a $27 strike and if I can get that move tomorrow up through there then I'm in the money for the next couple of days or if I'm right at the money, I want to get one at the money. Some guys might want to go deep in the money. I don't see the need to do that, but I'm not an expert uh, option trader by any means. JWN, uh, retail is one of my least favorite sectors. Uh, there are a lot of them that move a lot better than this, but it gapped up today, which put it into that uh, bull zone. And it's actually in a weekly bull zone as well. Uh, well, I'll take that back. It's a, trying to break in the weekly bull zone. It's got to get above 45.84 to do that. 
Excuse me. Forty nine sixty nine. Do you do that? Technology stock breaking up through the 50 day, first day uh, into this breakout. This is the kind of stock could give you a little move. This is a pretty good uh, intraday move here on this stock today. Uh, gapped up, ran up, pulled back, ran up again. Uh, not one that I normally keep on my on my trading list because uh, I had plenty of stocks that did the same thing today. You don't need a big list. You just need some to move. MD is the next one on the list, breaking out of this base. Uh, don't know anything about this stock. I do know on the weekly, it's at your 50 week level. It's worked its way a pretty good little run here off the bottom. And it's been in my weekly bull zone. This is the third week. So it came in right here during this week. Uh, actually the week before. It's when it broke into my bull zone. You see it right here. There's the same indicator. That's when it broke into the bulls on those several weeks ago. It's only moved about $3, not a big mover. But if you're looking for something that grinds, it looks like it's got a little ways to go, but it's got to get through this 50 period on the weekly there. Nuvia, uh, I'm still on the weekly chart here, which has made a little bounce off a 200 week ground its way up to target one. Been basing there for several bars. And it's breaking out today just the first signs of some strength it's still not through these previous highs healthcare devices but a pretty good day all in all here so it could get some momentum again tomorrow intraday wise it was all pretty much in the first 45 minutes ran right into this old high and stopped and see on the daily uh, you don't particularly see that, but it's referencing this bar right here that on my 30 minute chart, there it was going back for days. Hourly chart, there it was. And these green lines work on all time frames. I'm about halfway through this list. While you're here, subscribe to our channel, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Stock Twits. We appreciate that, and if you hadn't subscribed to our channel, please do so. Next on the list is OKE. It broke out about the high of that bar there from yesterday, so up about 65 cents on the breakout. First day in the breakout, and on the weekly, it's crossed above the 50-week last week. So uh, maybe to head on back up to at least $57 range. And if the whole energy sector gets going, of course, it's got plenty of upside. Another basic material stock, real nice breakout today. Uh, pretty much was breaking out right about here. Uh, pull back to support area twice, as you can see. See how these lines they help you? You got this stock selling off. That low a day right there was 33.86, and the line was 33.88. That morning it opened up, hit the line, and bounced for a dollar and some change. Nice run today. Uh, looks about the same on the weekly as it does on this daily. Trying to move on back up to the top. PKG. This thing's a terrible day trader. Most of the time, it gets a little spready. Had a nice breakout. Uh, anything would have been good this morning, but it went into the bull zone. Uh, actually, started getting some momentum even here. Started to show up in my signals, even though it was a red day, and then broke out this morning. And it had a pretty real nice day and a real nice breakout. And that is at weekly highs as well. So this is probably fixing to, to make a move, and I am going to put it on my favorites list just in case it's not too spready or it gives a little pullback opportunity tomorrow. PPG. When I put something on my favorites, I'm, I'm talking about my day trade list. PPG. 
first steps of moving up. It's been uh, trying to get my little power signals going here and then broke on up today. Not a big breakout, but trying to break this base. It most likely at least a hedge on up here uh, if it don't reverse tomorrow. A lot of the stuff you don't know what they're going to do tomorrow after a big day like today. PTCT. I like the way this looks on breaking out of this base. Uh, open today, touched the 50 day and held. Uh, nice little dollar bounce off the 50 day. You love to see them retest, guys. Anytime you got a support resistance line, you go down and you, you actually penetrate it and come back up through it. That's what you want to do. This made a low of 38 cent and the 50 was 48. So it pinned it and held it, pinned it and held it, pinned it and held it, pinned it and held it all these days. So that was a big test this morning because that was a pretty good pullback and held it well. Nice engulfing of this stuff. Broke out of all this base right here through the target one. Anytime I got to recalculate and I'll look back and reference the one back here. So that's where you're at. Here's where our target two is going to be at 1923. And on a weekly, it's actually uh, turning up as well. I will call this a bounce watch alert on a weekly if I was running one. Of course, it's the first day of the week. PVH, this thing's been strong a lot of days. It's back up to that high again, and it's still showing signs of trying to break out. Uh, it's strong, strong, back to the high. I'll put it on a chart. It's one of my regular ones I watch from time to time. RSPP, another energy stock actually broke out back here just like most of the others did back on the 20th of December been in this week long base just a continuation here uh, here's your next high levels up here a couple of places it's reversed at 42 4237 46.92 and then you got this next level up here you're going to come into at 44.11 which also gets you up near my weekly pivot. So it's done a nice little sell off on the weekly and it's worked its way up and it probably is heading there. SCCO, another basic materials. This is in the third day of the breakout. And I'm going to show you why it showed up on the third day. My requirement is the reason I got it could be in the last two days is it also has to have the power level in the last two days. Sometimes they come together like you see here. When it comes back here, uh, the power level wouldn't have been in the last two days, so you don't see it on my alerts. In this case, the power came in today. So that's more vol volatility indicating a bigger breakout here. SPLK had this big monster move the other day and I'm not real sure why it is on the uh, alert because it's not showing up I'm on my weekly I'm sorry had the breakout back here that was several weeks ago it had that breakout we were looking at here so it's been sideways for six weeks and now it's broke back up on the daily and this was the one I showed you we took that little short on this afternoon just because it just ran so far we watched it for a little bit picked up on that reversal it, it did this this spike didn't just happen throughout the day it happened late day just suddenly and when you get stock it runs that fast that hard it's not gonna keep going in the middle of the day like that that's a four or five dollar straight up move Nice uh, SRPT, uh, really nice looking candle here. I don't normally watch this for day trades, but when it gets momentum, it gets sometimes two or three back-to-back -back days, and it's got a pretty strong break here. Had a little power here a week ago, and did like a lot of the energy stocks to kind of pull back a little bit and then broke out hard today. 
we'll see if it gives a follow through tomorrow. SYK, uh, same thing, started building a little power a few days ago and then broke on up through my bull zone today, uh, about, about, to about where it opened at. I don't know this stock. It broke out way back here. Right here, see it lining up. So if you'd have been following these alerts, this would have been one of the first days back here a week ago. And now it did a little hesitation at this old high. So you know when you get here, you got issues. It pulled back, it held, it got back through there today. Now this is a high break on the weekly going back all the way back to here. That number is... Uh, 2660 you want to stay above that so if you get a pullback in a day or two you want to hold 2660 if you get in this stock that needs to be somewhere right around that needs to be your stop it's okay to come back and pin through it a little bit but it needs to hold it and if you're ever in something that gaps down below a support resistance line and then goes up to it and touches it and can't get through it and rejects you might want to reconsider your position your next high if you can break here on this weekly chart it's going to take you up to Twenty thirty dollars and two cents for what this last reject level was, and it's of course been higher than that. When you see these lines coming down, that means there's highs up there somewhere. If you go to a monthly chart, you know there's some old highs way back here, or you can push that weekly back. Uh, on a monthly chart, it's done a, a nice reversal off a double bottom. This this pink line, uh, and you see how these lines work on all time frames, okay? When it sold off here in 2016, the low of this month was $2.56, and it went back to where this low was. It lined up again, and that was going all the way back to 2009. It always matters. TTWO, it's been a real sloppy trader. A while back, we got this good breakout in August and a good run. You can see where we'd pick this up right here on this particular day. And you had that run all the way and then broke it again after a little tight pull back there, sat sideways and continued on up. Now, after all this basin, this thing has struggled and NVIDIA has been selling off. This is weeklies. So this thing broke out on a weekly alert and it ran for weeks and weeks as did many stocks during that time period. That was a big a boom in the market, of course. But here you are now on the daily. It has struggled here and struggled and struggled and struggled. Did break up through the 50 about 10 days ago, 15 days ago, then gapped up the next day and immediately sold off. Broke up through there today, a really nice breakout. Here's your 15 minute intraday. All that happened in the first half hour. Drowned sideways, came back. See the little green line? That's a recent high on a 15 minute chart. That's where this ran up. That was a pivot high. Old resistance, new support. Pull right back to support, pinned it, came back above it, pretty much closed right on the line. 110.95 where it closed. 110.79 was the line. Excuse me, it closed at 110. One, opened on the line, excuse me, opened at 111.19 and that line is 111.16 and then came back up after it pinned it, closed well above it, next line goes right back to it again, then three cents, down to 13 cents, the line 16 cents held it, grinded for a while and broke on back out. It closed the day near its highs so this is already on my favorites list for tomorrow because it's on my regular trading list. UCTT uh, pushed up last week into the 50 and rejected, coming back there again, oh, excuse me, yesterday, Friday, I mean, and it's a uh, second day. That's what stays on the scan for two days. So there you are again. It probably won't be here tomorrow. Whether it breaks up or pulls back, it won't be on the list tomorrow if it keeps going. UPS, uh, I'm not a big UPS fan because it's such a crappy day trader. Had a great day today. I believe FedEx did as well. 
and it uh, went up into my bull zone pretty strong. It could give another break tomorrow, and because of that, I'm going to watch it in the morning. It's usually not a good day trader, and there probably be plenty of other things that I find to trade that I won't even trade this. WAB, another one breaking out. It has done this multiple times here the last few weeks and it's trying to get that momentum going just barely. I'm not in love with where it's at right now, but it is breaking these highs from back here. And this stock can get on a tear, and when it does, it runs pretty good. It is in the weekly breakout back on this candle. So see, it's had two weeks. Went into my bull zone on the weekly. Uh, this will be the third week of that, first day of that week, of course, but we had two good weeks. Came into the bull zone on the weekly two weeks ago. And swing trades are really good to get in on on weekly charts. If you're an active trader, you're looking for three or four days uh, to a week, or you're looking for an option trade for multiple days, the dailies are great. But if you're looking for a longer term, the weeklies are what you really want to make your swing trade uh, entries on. WB, uh, very nice. Uh, weeklies coming back up here very very nice daily candle today up through this support resistance line it's been rejecting over and over here again that's why I have the lines on the charts and it broke out of that line at 108.66 area and it hit the uh, bull zone slightly above that I really like the way this looks for tomorrow I'm going to put that on my favorite list. It's not a normal stock I watch. WBA, Walgreens, crappy day trader. A pretty good candle today right into this pink line which is old bounce point. Pinks means they came down and bounced. Green lines they ran up to and, and rejected. But regardless if you're below it, it's a support resistance line and it touched it and that's where it stopped today. That don't mean it don't break through there tomorrow. This is in a pretty good weekly uptrend. Uh, just the first beginning set up here, and it most likely follows through. A lot of times this stock will pull back some. Here's a look at your weekly chart. WLK breakout today. It's been in an uptrend for quite a while. Not strong enough to really get going other than just grinding along just now brought some power in on this move so that could indicate that it's going to pick up some acceleration and this has been in a monster uptrend anyway there's your weeklies your weeklies way back here bulls on weekly in july sideways for six weeks came back in again and really hadn't looked back slowed down a little bit picked up some momentum again it got the power here and now it's just continuation here all those weeks just been a really really strong stock for weeks and weeks and weeks woo boo first day gap up i'm not real familiar with this at all but that's a pretty strong candle right into my upper pivot and that's where it rejected today uh that's a pretty big move for one day it may even rest a day or two this is the last one on the longs and i got just a few that came up on the short list today if you come up on a short list on a good day like the market's having, that ain't a good thing. So a lot of times the shorts get really short fast or a lot worse off fast, go down quickly. Broke in the bull zone two days ago, came with the power today, YNDX. Uh, not nothing I'm in love with for sure. It's got all kind of resistance up here. Very choppy looking stock. Get over to the short list real quick. AAL got a big downgrade today, sold off pretty hard. That's all state. This is your hourly. You see what it did today. Went right down to this old support line where it has bounced before, and that is where it held. Now that's like a four or five days ago, uh, a little bit longer back here. It's where it was holding at today. It's actually back on the uh, 8th of December. Probably gives that way tomorrow. It's a pretty strong break, and I hardly ever, ever trade this stock. As you can see, it's not a big ranger, but when you got sellage, 
sometimes be get some more sell it so we're gonna watch that tomorrow Campbell soup again nothing a day trade lost a 50 day today and pretty powerful little push down here uh, the stocks probably definitely headed this this far down and could be a lot worse because it don't look too sporty on a weekly ICPT this is a uh, second day in this came in on Friday uh, this big push down into the bear zone and pushed it even harder today does have a support line down here and that is a uh, not the, all the weekly support but it is a line on my weekly chart that's been holding here and then there's plenty of room to go down even more uh, this sector was up today and the stock was down today health care sector uh, I don't know anything about why it's down it's got some pretty good momentum going here and looks like it could definitely go lower this thing is sometimes spready I may put it on a chart for the first thing in the morning Lamar broke the 50 it's been riding it for days not a huge momentum push into this level but it's been building a little power for a couple of days and then pushed it today 50 day is right above you and the 50 weeks right below you here's your 200 uh, day down here Mondelez MDLZ really the first day into the bear zone and it ran up rejected the 50 week it's got the 50 day here uh, it's this could be setting up for probably a target one at a minimum which is not that many dollars uh, not something I'm going to trade but if you're looking for a little quiet short that might be one I don't know anything about it travelers came down with Allstate took out the 50 day this is a pretty forceful candle does have support down here first day into this trend and the last stock I got for you is VRSN technology huge push down today this is a big big push lost the 50 day uh, sometimes you can get one this strong that'll just reverse this is really strong but it's almost all the way back to my target two level uh, it could have another ugly day tomorrow they came out of this uh, here's your support resistance line right here at 11082 a gap up and then run into that and reject it that would be a short I'm gonna actually put myself an alert on it around 79 cents just to make me come look at it and I don't have to put it on a chart but if it does that and I'll probably put me in another alert for going down I'm not gonna put it on a chart but I might flag it and watch it a little bit in the morning that's all I got thanks for watching pretty long video we had about 50 stocks to cover there and uh, sorry I kept you so long appreciate you watching